Okay, so yeah, welcome to the uh, Bookmap uh, Advanced Webinar here. Uh, first time doing it in Discord. We're going to just do it this week here uh, and see how it goes. It's kind of a trial for us. Uh, note that uh, Tom uh, Tom B will be streaming uh, in uh, uh, his. He'll have his own room uh, and he will be streaming in there. Uh, so this kind of will um, uh, get you guys kind of accustomed to uh, a bit of what's going on here. Uh, now this is instead of doing the webinars in GoToWebinar. Uh, we're going to you know be here for about an hour in this live streaming uh, and then we're going to stop and then we'll do it again tomorrow uh, as well uh, all, all week long we're going to do it except uh, no no webinar on friday all right due to the the holiday season all right so i'll do the live um, analysis here monday and tuesday nothing on friday uh, and uh, the goal here is to apply what you've learned from the educational course in the live market. It's forward-looking analysis. It's not hindsight. Uh, so, uh, you know, you can really learn. Uh, and then we have live trading from JTrader and uh, Stocks Trader and then Scott Pulsini, a futures trader, on Wednesdays and Thursdays uh, where they'll, they'll take positions. They'll go through their strategies uh, and their way of managing the trade. Okay. So you get really complete, uh, you know, package here for your uh, your your education when you subscribe to Global Plus. All right, all right. Let's go through some disclosures, and then jump back into that S and P. General disclosures: uh, all Bookmap Limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only, and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. The risk disclosure: trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, Doug, these will be recorded. I'm not sure how to. <laughs> handle these recordings yet uh, but uh, uh, maybe I'll just uh, upload them on uh, on YouTube somewhere for you guys uh, if you're interested all right um, oh, good morning David um, yeah yeah set all set for the week here um, is it, there's not a whole lot of data out there but there's risk in the market so it's gonna be interesting kind of few days here uh, you know, this uh, COVID uh, Omicron and, and uh, uh, the Biden's uh, uh, plan and, and, and yeah, some, some just, uh, you know, geopolitical and political stuff here going on. Uh, you know, I think we're going to see some a uh, bit of volatility here. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, we'll jump in and, and, and check it out here. Uh, did I go through the risk disclosure? Trading futures, equities, digital currencies involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, now I know I did it. Uh, let's go through it here uh, and jump into this S&P. All right, we're just coming through the analysis in this S&P. Do I trade on Christmas? <laughs> well, you can in crypto, uh, but uh, uh, no, we won't be we won't be uh, hold, hosting anything uh, in, in Discord uh, for Bookmap. All right. Um, all right, so... Let's see. The uh, we're looking to see in this little area here. We just kind of marked up in the previous webinar, okay, to see if I mean, some really interesting stuff in here. I'll go over it again here. I think it's worth a review. Uh, and uh, now you can see price dropping. We we saw some larger player activity in here. We'll go over it. It's right in this little area. Now now truly, and I'm you know I'm not trying to sell book map here. This is the kind of transparency that you can get with this product though I mean, you're not going to be able to see these kinds of details i have i don't know who else offers it but we'll go through this and we can put these pieces together here it's fascinating right now we're seeing sellers come in here uh back down here i'm looking for the sellers to drop it into earlier we were looking for this move to drop into 45 30. now i'm looking for it again I'm looking for these sellers to come in okay right into this area here uh now this is kind of higher time frame stuff because we're downtrending right now we got to see sellers at the bottom of these edges here though and right now we're going to get a pullback probably probably back up to about here um uh yeah maybe 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 uh 45 40 but uh maybe 42 or maybe back up to 45 45 right because you see the buying coming in here they're going to lift it right bigger picture though we're looking for the move down lower all right, so uh, we got to keep that in mind. We're looking to see when we might exhaust out here, when we when uh, there's no more aggressive buying, uh, making higher highs. 
uh, and um, uh, looking for uh, larger uh, red dots market sell orders to drop uh, price uh, into these lower levels of liquidity where the where the uh, demand is down here here they come all right so let's see if they can continue here that's just a quick move there yeah see the, see the little battle starting to erupt here I mean you can see liquidity coming in here and we're finding some buyers here so they'll likely try to lift it up into this liquidity up here around maybe 41 and a quarter here these are small moves, and it's nothing really high probability at the moment. We're just reading the order flow. Okay, we'll know when there's something that looks higher probability. Okay, so yeah, I mean you can see the fight here, and 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 they're they're still pulling back here. Okay, now getting a little more interesting, a little more liquidity up here at 42 and a half. Okay, see them coming in here, and that's kind of where we're looking for the pullback. Okay, now we're looking for our red dots down here, and we're looking for these guys down here at 35 and 33 and a half or whatever to pull that liquidity. Okay, for them to pull it away and to see maybe someone like flip over and show more uh, supply up here. Here they go. Here's 45, 40, and let's see the reaction to that liquidity. We're actually finding some buyers here, so we're not quite ready yet. All right, let's see if we get our sellers here. No, not yet. See the selling here, this is not where we're looking for them though. We're looking for sellers down here. Here they come. Okay. All right, we're ready for a drop here. Let's see if they can drop it up into 35. No, no, it's it's going to be a, a a little squeeze here. Yeah, they're going to squeeze it up into 42, 42 and a half. Uh, this is kind of some tricky price action in here. This is what we want to see though. This kind of this kind of uh, action here. Okay, at the bottom edge. Okay, let's see if we get it again here. Okay, right around 36 and a half. No, not yet. It's not ready yet. Still rotating back and forth. All right, sellers, let's see it. No, still not ready yet here. Still looking for it, reading it here. Sellers right here. Okay, now they're pulling that liquidity here. Yep, if we get the sellers, we should get the move, pretty quick move down into this 35 area. Uh, and then let's see if they can continue on with the trend uh, down into 30 uh, down here looking for it uh, and I, I think I think we got the move here so let's see these sellers they really they really need to show up in force here now why they need to drive it away from this point of control up here at 4550 okay this uh, most traded level that's what we're looking for so we're looking for lots of selling okay to move it away from that area and I actually at the moment uh, you know I don't, I don't really see too much selling here Okay, we want to see big red dots in here. Uh, let's see, how can you understand with order book and price will the price will be delivered to liquidity? Uh, I don't understand the, quite the question. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's really just an auction here, uh, and, and this is what we're looking at. Um, so, you, you know, we, we know that there's demand down here. These are where the buyers are, okay? And we know there's supply up here, okay? These are where the sellers are, as simple as that, okay? So, in general, this is where the majority of the liquidity is, up here, okay, or down here, all right? And th that's it. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, if we if we have enough sellers in here, see the selling coming in here, okay? But what's the relationship to this uh, this demand down here? Okay, see how they didn't really take them on. Instead, we're getting buyers, so they're going to go right to this liquidity here, okay? At this 41 area here. Okay, 
Okay, nice little uh, uh, stream of buyers in here. You know, something that's going to be really nice for you guys when uh, when Tom starts streaming uh, is uh, he's going to be able to like stand back uh, and just uh, go through this all day long. Uh, you know, this webinar is going to go for, uh, you know, another 45 minutes at, at minimum here. Uh, and uh, we, we only have to, we only have 45 minutes. Okay, so we're going to have to look at smaller time frames uh, and little range bound trades, etc. Uh, and uh, just to, uh, uh, you know, put the pieces together here. Uh, but, you know, of course, it'd be great if a big move uh, started to unfold here. Okay, but... Uh, yeah, we, we, we've got to cover what we get within the 45 minutes. Surprised they didn't go up after 41 here. Okay, now they're going to go for it. Yeah, we should go right to 41 here. I want to go over this um, now. It's a little bit, a little bit of hindsight, but I just, I just think it's so worth it. Uh, the uh, uh, what we saw earlier, okay, and that transparency that uh, you know, it, it's just, it, it gives us such good insight here, uh, and, and start to put and understand these pieces and put them together here. Okay, so here's our move into 41. Okay, let's see if they can move it to 45 here. Actually, uh, kind of where we drop from, where we drew these, uh, this kind of zone in here. Okay. So anyway, you can start to understand and see at some of these levels in here, start to look for the order flow to give you insight. Right? It's just reading the, the, this context in here. Uh, once we get this context, we can look for a higher probability move uh, and the potential for it to unfold. Okay, So still looking for 45 up here uh, and see if they can reach that area. Uh, if they can, maybe even 50. Uh, this liquidity up here at 50. Right. These are this is, you know, the the responsive bind here. OK, uh, if you go through your auction market theory, uh, a move back into the range, the most traded level, a move back into value. OK, and we're looking for a big red dots to move it away from value Okay, to trend, to trade down into this lower liquidity uh, and and this demand on the bid at some of these levels here. You can see that that's not unfolding right now. Okay, we did not get the red dots we're looking for. The, the larger uh, market sell orders to pull it away from value. Okay, we're coming back to value. Right, so we're looking for it. We already traded to 45 here. We're still looking for 50 here. Okay, that's where the liquidity is up here. All right, so we saw that uh, just in this little area here, looking for 41 to begin with, then 45, and then now 50. All right, so let's. Uh, let me go back into this area here. This is just, uh, you know, something kind of new I hadn't seen before, um, uh, but some really nice details in here. So a little bit of hindsight analysis, but I think it'll be well worth it for you guys. Uh, the um, uh, here's what unfolded. All right, so we see some buying coming in, uh, moving. See how they moved it away right here? This is what I'm talking about. All right, so the buyers moved it away here very, very quickly from this trading range here. Here they are. This is what it looks like. The the the, the green dots pulling it higher here. Uh, pulled it higher again, right? So moved up into where? Higher liquidity up here, 48 and that 50. They moved it even above 50 here, okay, up into this kind of 54 area. Uh, and then this is what unfolded. And this is what's really, uh, really fascinating to see. All right. So larger player comes in here and completely dumps. Uh, and we can take a look at this data in here. We're, we're going to do this um, uh, and look at what precisely traded here. More, not precisely, but uh, uh, what traded here uh, in general, uh, and then how many are stops uh, in this area here as well. Okay. This is where we're going to see like uh, that it was a larger player dumping, uh, and they're going to be uh, triggering some stops along the way uh, to the downside. So let's take a look at that. All 
All right, so 66 of these are stops. Okay, now this is what unfolded here, and this is what is to really start to understand these markets uh, and get some insight to what's actually happening at these price levels. Like I said, level of transparency, like uh, very hard to find in other areas. So someone came in here and they dumped quite a bit. We can uh, add up these here. We can look at the, maybe our sweeps indicator as well. Uh, let's turn that on. I know a lot of you guys have been doing some, uh, creating some really great content with the sweeps indicator. Uh, and starting to understand these these moves lower. So let's take a look at that. Maybe I need to, uh, okay, there we go. There we go, all right. Yeah, let's, let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, and then just a little aggregate them together. Okay, <laughs> so this was a book sweep here, obviously. I mean, just doesn't get much clearer than that. This is a larger player coming in, um, and just uh, they release a, a market sell order. Okay, for twelve hundred seventy-two is what traded here. Okay, on the sweep on the move down here. Okay, we know that. You can add up these in your column here as well if you want. Uh, we can put this data within the the area here. Add up all of these here. Uh, it should be the same as the sweeps indicator. Uh, and then how many of these were stops though? 66. Why are the stops down here? See the red line down here? This is where those stops came in. This is because someone was getting, they may have had many stops in this whole area here, but this order had precedence, this larger player. If you hit market sell, okay, that's what's going to happen first. Uh, is that order is first going to unpack and it is going to transact. It is going to trigger stops all the way along here as it sweeps the book lower. And then at the end of the of the queue, and this is the aggressor's queue. Okay, the aggressor's queue is like this. First, what happens? Market sell for you know twelve twelve seventy two or whatever it is. And then if stops are triggered along the way, it does not matter where. They might be up here. They might be here. Okay? They're going to get filled down here. Because after this order is filled and it sweeps the order book, then transact whatever's left that got triggered along the way here. Because when these orders get triggered, your, your stop loss gets triggered, uh, then it's stop at market, right? Well, this is the market price at that time. And this is why you can get slipped <laughs> four points, four S&P points. It, it, it's, it's brutal. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, that's, what's, that's what's happening here. You can see the red line. Sometimes you see the red line up here. Okay. And that's a, a larger player with a, a, a massive stop loss order. All right. So anyway, now look what uh, happened on the other side here. This is just... Uh, uh, something you know I hadn't hadn't quite seen before, um, but makes total sense. Uh, this larger player, uh, they move the market lower, and then they're on the other side down here at this 45.50 level with an iceberg. Okay, now I don't know if it's the same player; it could be someone else. Uh, but I know that this move happened, and then this iceberg came in immediately after that. I know that. Uh, and I know it's transacting in here. Look at the buyers coming in, you know, trying to lift it. They're not lifting this anywhere. Okay, this, this iceberg order is getting filled. It's still getting filled in these areas in here. Uh, we can zoom out. We can look at the overall uh, and, and understand the size of this. It was 1,400 uh, that transacted there, over 1,400. Okay, and an iceberg. This is pretty wicked action here. This is a quick move away. Okay, and then an iceberg. Now, is this, I don't think this is really prohibitive uh, behavior, but it should be. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Um, it it's is pretty wicked behavior. Uh, and um, uh, you know, if you read uh, CME Rule Five Seven Five, this is not covered in it. Uh, at least this scenario is not covered. Uh, I have not seen it in there. Uh, flip of the order book, etc., is is kind of similar to this maybe, but uh, it's not it's not the same. Uh, we know that this is one larger player. This is, um, at this point here, this is a um, uh, uh, atomic event, 
meaning that it is one event, and then see how best bid and offer update afterwards. Okay, you can see best offer actually updated first, because it, uh, and then best um, best bid did uh, after that. Okay, right in that area. All right, so after this trade event took place, then you get your update of of your um, quotes data. Okay, trade data first, update quotes data. Okay, stop run in here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, now let's put that into context here. Okay, so we know what happened in that area. We know it's a larger player. All right, and uh, and what happened? All right, so what happened after that? Well, that was the, that was basically the um, uh, the high. Okay, we we see this kind of a move back again. Not enough buyers. Uh, in fact, it looks like there's even more icebergs, and indeed there are right here, 371, and they're they are still in the book. Okay, let's see how long they stayed stayed in the book, and maybe they transacted already. Well, they pulled right here. Okay, so they they pulled their iceberg at that point. So uh, wow, uh, fascinating stuff. Now we have an iceberg down here at the bottom of the range, uh, at this 34 area here. So kind of a battle raging at the bottom here around this 34 area, whereas we were looking for the move lower into 30, 25, and 20, all right? Anyway, I, I thought it was worthy to go through that uh, so you guys can understand some of these levels in here. I know it's hindsight, but, uh, uh, you know, um, really, really fascinating stuff in here. And starting to understand, this is going to be a critical level for the day here, okay, or at least this time frame. Uh, I think there's also seems to be another one that's kind of becoming rather critical here, this large iceberg here for another 1,400. Now, you know, we know that that the one that was uh, uh, on the other side here was like 1,400, right? Well, is, is, is the same guy? Likely, right? <laughs> Getting filled here. Uh, now he wants even a better price. He just moved it lower here. And he's still in the order book here. Now the 1425 here does not mean that there's 1400 left. It means that's what has transacted of that one iceberg order. All right, so uh, some details in here. Uh, for I mean, this is uh, you know free and open to all this webinar. So you know a lot of our um, uh, uh, Global Plus subscribers that uh, they already um, understand a lot of this. Uh, so I, I'm going through it a little more detail here since these are are free and, and open to everybody in Discord. All right. All right. Let's see here. Some of the key stocks like Tesla and Envy are bumping up. Okay. Thanks, David. Uh, a dead cat bounce in Tesla. All right. Okay, yeah, let's see, uh, consistent stacking on the bid and the whole number, um, the whole morning, according to uh, liquidity uh, tracker difference. How much of that is recent shorts covering? Uh, well, th this this we don't really quite know. Um, I, I, one thing that it maybe gives some insight to, you know, um, cover covering here, or, you know, short squeezes, long squeezes, whatever, um, is to look at low volume pullbacks that usually is either people getting stopped out or um, uh, you know typically some some profit taking uh, and then uh, you that's why you you, you know because it's, it's not new uh, traders coming in necessarily I mean it might be it'll be some but uh, if it's going to be new traders coming in they're going to move the market uh, likely right uh, so uh, it, we'll go through the details in here Right. So now, now look, look what's happening here. Our sellers are coming in. They're making a lower low here. This is wicked stuff. I mean, this is making really good sense to me um, that this guy pulled that uh, iceberg and added it lower here. Okay, really, really pretty smart move there uh, because uh, now people are making a lower low, and he's absorbing on the other side. Right. So anyone that goes, oh well, if it breaks this low, I'm going to be a seller. Right. And he just got filled. Okay, his whole iceberg just got filled, 3,500 overall. Okay, really, really smart 
um, uh, move here uh, by this larger player here. Now, it's an iceberg order. It's on the bid. It's absorbing. It cannot uh, 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 move price. Okay. Uh, what it can do is stop price from moving. So you can see there's still more selling pressure coming in. Right. This is why when we cover uh, this information in here, or this data about icebergs, is understanding it's about the order flow first. Okay. Not the larger player. Uh, but uh, understanding. See, there's there's still more selling pressure in here. Now here's another iceberg. 228 okay okay that just traded so some some more uh, we have 564 another 300 and then we have another one here okay is it the same player not sure but boy they want to buy okay so now let's we got to look for the order flow to shift and change though because right now it's still selling you know sellers are making lower lows here right now if we get buyers up here around 31 Okay, lack of selling down here. Buyers up here around 31, 31 and a half or so. Yeah, then I'm looking for a, a, it to come right back up into this liquidity here at 33 or 34. Uh, and it could could potentially move and have a, be a really nice move back to 45.50, back to point of control. Okay, understanding these players uh, in, in, the, uh, in the order flow here. Okay, now these players here, we've seen this time and again. They have influence on the market, but the order flow still rules, right? You know, th these larger players, they need to get filled in here. So to have price go through a large um, uh, iceberg it is uh, something uh, that they're looking for, right? If you guys, um, you know, use limit buy and sell orders, you know what I'm talking about. For you to get filled, price likely is going to go right against you immediately. Right? So these larger players, they want to get filled. Well, they need price to go into their and through their orders, basically. Right? That's when we're going to look for exhaustion on the sell side or you know, just a lot of buying coming in on the uh, on the buy side, the aggressors. Okay? That's when we'll see a shift in the order flow. So we're still understanding the larger players here, but we're just noting it, okay? And we're going to draw some of these uh, levels in here of where they're where they're getting filled, and then where they're going to be in profit uh, as well. Seeing some really good stuff in here today um, with uh, uh, some of the MBO MBO data here. Video resolution is not good. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Streaming quality is. Boy, I can even go to 60 frames per second here. I'm at 10 1080p, uh, Doug. I don't know if, if one of you guys are whizzes in here on this Discord stuff. I mean, this is kind of you know new new for us uh, with the streaming. Here, let me let me try 60 frames per second just for kicks. Uh, maybe maybe Discord knows if like it, if it's maybe too high resolution, it will bump it down. I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm going to try it. Here's 60 frame frames per second. Well, uh, the nitro stuff should be should be working. Ah, that's so weird. Sorry, Doug. Sorry, you guys. I mean, like, I I I thought we we subscribed to nitro. I thought we'd 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 bypass all of this, guys. Anyway, let's go over this order flow. This is exactly what we just talked about. This scenario here, um, of like the order flow starting to shift and to change due to all of these icebergs in here. And now that you see the icebergs ch uh, chasing as well, but do we see aggressive buyers in here yet? That's what we need because icebergs can't, they can only stop price from moving. They can't make price move technically. All right, so I'm looking for these aggressors to start to come in up here around 35. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get another move back into 40 or maybe even 50 here, point of control. Right? by understanding the order flow at this bottom edge in here, 
That's what we're talking about. All right, let's see. We're looking for looking for these buyers up here. Thirty-five. And then we should get the move. They're bidding up here. That's good. They may pull that though. All right, let's see these aggressive buyers come in here at 35 and looking for a pretty pretty quick move actually. I think we can get it right up to 40. All right, this will be a stop run uh, as it should be uh, up into 40. Uh, and then especially above here, uh, about you know 43, uh, should be a nice stop run. Okay, liquidity coming in at 40, so that's the target still. It's kind of an interesting dynamic in here. Um, you know, these guys got what they wanted. Uh, the larger players with their icebergs, they got what they wanted. They got filled at these lower levels here. But are we finding aggressive buyers in here? New new buying? Not not really. I mean, yeah, some it's pulling it up here, but it's not that significant. Here they go. This 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 is where we'll probably see them. This is where it should get significant here. Let's see. And I want to see them blast right through 40 and then on up to 50 here. Okay. Pretty. And I want. To, I'm looking for a quick move up and do. Yeah, a quick move up into 45 and then and then maybe 50 here. But uh, we we, we got to see these aggressive buyers come in here. All right, just because there's icebergs in here, I mean that's great. It stopped price from going down, but we, we need we need buyers on the other side here to move it away uh, from this uh, lower level here back into um, the value area. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, here they come. Now, did we get our stop run yet? Not really. Still, still looking for it. That means that sellers are still in here. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking for these these guys to get shaken out here and the move back to 45 and 50 here, right? And that's where we're going to find our buyers, our big green dots. It's also kind of cluing in other traders like, well, this is, you know, responsive buying back to, to, to value. Right. It's not a trend, not a trend move. Okay, let's see it now. We should get our stop run from 41 up to 45. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I mean, like uh, this kind of stuff, though, it's just um, just fascinating. Very smart move for that larger player to move his iceberg lower. Uh, to uh, to get filled at the lower areas here, um, uh, just because y y you know it's making a lower low here, we'll make another couple of lower lows and and just get absorb it, you know, get filled at those areas here, and uh, and try to get price to move back into into value. 
very very intelligent move there a couple icebergs still on the bid here waiting at 32 and down at 30 so we did get to, we did get to 30 And we're, we're still in a downtrend, uh, to be honest. You know, still making lower lows and lower highs here. Uh, we just saw just a massive amount of absorption on the iceberg side. Here, here, look at the subchart here. This is why I have it um, uh, as a um, um, cumulative volume delta type of, uh, uh, you know, the axes are not the, the same here between stops and icebergs, but we have the relationship between stops and icebergs, in the context. Yeah, so from here, this point onward, or heck, we can even go here. Let's just even move it up here. So, so this was uh, how many uh, icebergs was like negative uh, 4,800 on up to, yeah, so, <laughs> There's like 4,800 icebergs in here on the, on the buy side. They're buying. God, we see 56 here. Well, that's because this one was getting filled all the way back here. That's why, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the sweeps indicator off here for for the moment. All right, look at that 5100 here. All right, and we know precisely here. This is where that it was. This was the guy who got filled in here and then dropped it. And got filled in here. Uh, not much going on at the moment. Some high liquidity coming in at 40. Let's see the reaction to that. This is what we want to gauge. So here's a lot of supply. Just came in 420 contracts. Okay, what's the what's the context? Do we find buyers here interested in it, or does it repel buyers? Do we find sellers come in, pull it away from that area, try to trade it back down into 30 and and 25 and 20. Here's, we're getting some of our answer here. See the buyers come in, they want it. They're going to go for it here. They're going to go for 40. Okay, just shy of it. Seller's so trying to move it away. And buyers are trying to go right back toward it again. Boy, there's some wicked stuff going on here today. Okay, buyers traded into and through that liquidity there at 37. So, yep, still looking for this 40. Yeah, it's kind of convoluted right now. We get a lot of insight from these areas here, but we're kind of on one side and on the other here. We're looking for someone to really take it away. This is kind of no different than a point of control, just a large tra transaction right here. So, you know, that's what we're looking for, someone to try to pull it away from that area here. Looks like buyers are going for it. They're going to go for this 41 or 40, I should say. I think they got it now. Um, and I want to see them uh, trade, trade above it, uh, above 40. Okay, back to 45 as well. Yeah, they they've got it. If they if they want it, they should be able to they should be able to hit this 40 liquidity.
Okay, there we go. All right, so still looking for 45 here. Buyers are in control in this small time frame. Uh, okay, thanks, Sam. All right, so yeah, you you found a solution. Hmm. Okay. So sorry about the the fuzzy uh, screen, guys. We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll deal with it. I, is there something I can do right now, Sam? I, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, we can restart the stream if you have time. I'm not sure how far through you are. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let let's try that. So I'll I'll disconnect. I sent you a message in Slack. You can refer to that. Okay. Better text re readability. Okay, all right. So let me see where the heck that is. All right. So yeah, guys, I'll I'll, I'll stop sharing, and then I'm going to redo it here. How about how about better text uh, readability if I put on glasses? That ought to help. Bit rate. Huh. Yeah, boy, I I don't see it. Yeah, hold on. Stream quality, okay. Uh, I, I I don't know where it is. Um, may, maybe you can toggle it, uh, Sam. And then I can share my screen. Okay. Should that work? Should that do the trick? Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So let me, let me, sorry guys. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks for your patience here. First I select my screen. Got you. All right, screen one. Yeah, I'm at 1080p. Frame rate is at 60. Uh, better text. Okay, got you. Okay, I see it. All right, let's try this. All right, how's that? Is that better? And let me go back to the text channel. Okay. All right. Well, it, let me know if that worked. Uh, was that better? Uh, any, anyway, um, hopefully you guys can see it now. Uh, it should be super high. <laughs> okay. Thank you, David. I mean, it should be like, like a movie. The 60 frames per second. Yes, a little bit better. That's it. Wow. Okay. All right. We'll have to work on it, Doug. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. It's too bad too because like uh, you know, well, hopefully the recording will will capture all of this here, um, and and you you can look at it because we're seeing some really pretty unique stuff in here uh, with some of these larger players. They're still battling here. Like uh, um, we're we're not seeing it turn around. This is why we we cover this. Like, yeah, we're looking for 40. That did trade. I was looking for 45. It didn't happen, right? Here's what happened. They came back in again at 40 again, and then uh, and then a little bit of a battle here on the bid here at this kind of 37 and a half area, and look at the offer here, uh, and they came back in again. So we're trading back down to the lower edge again. Okay, but we know the larger players are down here. All right, so uh, and um, 
we haven't we just this is what we're we're talking about earlier we haven't seen new buying coming in to move it back to or was that responsive buying we, we're not seeing it yet it's kind of like exhausting out basically i mean this is a nice cluster up here but you know we're not really seeing new sellers come in here either right so it's really just kind of back and forth in here okay this is actually a pretty nice little cluster of selling this isn't bad all right so this is the quality all right let me take a look here Yeah, that looks good, right? Okay, how about this one? Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good to me, guys. I mean, uh, at least this is what uh, uh, David uh, W. is saying. All right. All right, look at the icebergs. We have three here lined up getting filled. Another 1,500, another 500 here. So they're still buying here, uh, and they're front running. They're buying at actually a higher level here. Okay, at 31, not, not at 30, not at the lows here. Okay, there's still some icebergs at the lows here right at the lows now this will be interesting to see like remember how we said earlier like uh, this guy dropped his 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 iceberg a little bit lower um you know get people to, to go short right into their uh, iceberg i don't see that right now they're kind of still just like uh supporting it here at the low which is interesting if, if that is the case then it, it you know it kind of clues traders in like if you get a larger player uh buying uh uh, at the lows and at a higher low area that that gives you kind of insight to uh you know now we made a higher low right so it kind of it kind of supports uh they're they're kind of indirectly supporting um uh, what what's going on at some of the, uh, some of these areas here and then it's telling other buyers like wow i can start to buy now we made a higher low. Really great stuff today. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens here. Maybe we'll get like a really quick move, you know, jab lower and then back up above that area and then the move back to 50, 45, 50. Okay. These are just some of the bigger picture scenarios we're, we're kind of looking at at the moment. Iceberg getting filled here, 155, 154, boom, right through it. Oh, let's see. Another one, 18. Here, just an, an, another 1,200 just, just transacted. Okay, so yeah, we're, we are going into lower lows here, or mm, actually it looks like it, we made it down to uh, 27 or so. Let's zoom back out. That, that's from previous, yeah, this previous low here. Okay. Yeah, let, you know, let's take a, a, a bigger step back here. I mean, they were trading back down into these lower into the lows here. Uh, they're still supporting it though with their icebergs. Uh, so I want to take a look at the bigger picture here uh, and look at the daily uh, as well as hourly uh, in the 15 minute here. So you can see we're kind of making a double bottom on that 15 minute. Also the hour here you can see uh, in the daily here, you see this move back down into this swing low here uh, for back on December 6th. Okay, so, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, this was uh, kind of a swing uh, right here. And, and this was a start of a move uh, that, that made higher highs here, uh, all time highs, right, for this S&P. 
So uh, yeah, I, I would start to look at this area here as a, as a great area on a higher time frame uh, for some uh, some buyers to start to come in uh, and try to move this you know back up uh, into these areas here. Uh, on the higher time frame, though, there's a whole zone in here, right? From here on, th this is the area to take a look at. In fact, it, it, it's a pretty big zone. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's kind of wonky in, in that sense. Uh, but, you know, 44.70 on up to current price here. Um, you know, 44, 45.30. Uh, you know, I know that's 60 points, but uh, if you want to get a little more narrow, well, the most narrow is right, right here, right now, looking for buyers. Okay, at this swing here from uh, December 6th. The other swings down here, though, too, uh, you know, that's what where we saw the lows and then, uh, you know, some pretty some pretty big buying coming back in. Now, a few, few different scenarios in here. Okay, what if we what if we come back down in here and we start to start to break down below here on some heavy selling? Well, then we're coming back down into these lower areas here. All right, the seller's going to move it away from that area here. Same stuff here. We're looking at same idea, same concepts, same order flow, just higher time frame. All right. Yeah, here's here's our, our lower low here, but uh, now they're still here with icebergs, uh, pretty big icebergs getting filled in these areas as we know, and they have been for a while. My God, how many is this now? Let's just take a look from here on up. So this is negative 67,000, and we're up at, you know, 34, right? So, um, I, I don't know. It's like, is that like 10,000 iceberg orders getting filled in here? Something like that, Nine to 10,000. So yeah, just waiting and watching here uh, for those aggressors. We, we, the, you know, looking we're looking for the cues here uh, for buyers to start to come in. We're not not quite getting them yet. We even noticed it in here. We're looking for that high liquidity in these areas to trade, but we're looking for the new, you know, those new buyers to like move it back into the range here. And we noted that we didn't quite get them. Uh, we're looking for those big green dots to pull it back up. Here, here you get it a little bit, and here you get it again. Here, that's where that uh, that player, larger player, came in and changed everything. Anyway, we're getting quite a bit of transparency here today uh, into uh, some uh, larger player activity, and we continue to make lower lows here. Okay, now we're at forty-seven twenty, or uh, forty-five twenty-seven. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, um, and. Uh, yeah, let's see if uh, here's another 400. Here's a 260. Here's another three, three or 250 here. Nice stop run as well. 500 stop run. All right. So now, now we just made lower lows. Okay. Let's see if we can get big green dots above 27 here. Okay. This will be the uh, the move back down into this area here, and then to move away from it here. Okay, so uh, or are they going to come back down into 45.20 here, right? Another seven points away, six points away. I'm looking for the big green dots up here around this uh, kind of 27.28 level. Okay, that would be scenario um, number one. Uh, and then the move back up to 35, to 40, 45, and, and to 50. Okay, so scenario number two is that uh, Back down to 40, uh, 45, 25, more selling. Trend continuation into 45, 20. Thanks, David, for that uh, screenshots there. So quality, quality looks good. Um, we'll, we'll get we'll get the details worked out for you guys. But uh, yeah, sorry about that. Just bear with us here. Um, 
All right, let's see if that scenario unfolds here, looking for these 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 buyers here. And and why am I looking for the buyers now? Because of the big stop run here. Okay, we know lots of absorption. Now I'm looking for buyers. Okay, new buying in here. They should be able to break this right up to, well, more than 30. I'm looking for basically 35 here. Yeah, bid looks good. Look at the blue underneath here on the bid. That looks pretty good. So looking for our buyers here. We should get the move up into, yeah, 32 is okay, but I, I like 35 up here. Not getting the, not getting the buyers that we're quite looking for. I mean, you see the streams come in here. Okay, we we really need to see some big green dots, though. Uh, it it kind of clues people into uh, uh, the move back into the range. <laughs> just just absorbing on the bid here. All right now we can go through another scenario here. I, uh, this we've seen this so many times for years now, where price continues to go lower. And before we had the stop iceberg tracker or indicators, uh, you know, we're just like this doesn't make any sense. They're absorbing, they're absorbing, they're absorbing. We see it right into these areas here. You know, trade down into 45.20. They absorb. They they stay in the book. They're getting filled here. This is what we're looking for in that scenario, though, is today is a trend day to the downside. We don't see new buying coming in to move it back to uh, previous uh, value areas. Uh, and then we look at the higher time frame, or like our hourly here. Okay, we'll, Maybe we'll just kind of, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, trade down here for a bit. And then it'll be the, the overnight and, and the next day is where you get a, a really nice move to the upside. Okay, so this, this is another scenario to look for. Okay, today's like the trend day. You can see the big red candle here uh, into these lows. Okay, so uh, uh, going through these different scenarios, this is the key. And then and then understanding what this might look like in the order flow. Uh, and then once we have that understanding, we, we look for that follow through. Okay, and we keep looking for the buyers to come in and they, they just, they haven't. You know, uh, this wasn't bad here. And here's our retest, and they di they didn't make it. Uh, you know, uh, not not many here. Sellers drive it back down. But there's no doubt about the look at this. Oh my God, five five thousand, two thousand, eighteen hundred, eleven hundred, another thousand, and they're still absorbing. At a certain point. There's just not going to be selling pressure. And that's what we're kind of looking for. And that's when we're looking for buyers to come in. All right. Anyway, guys, uh, we've been going about an hour now. Uh, let me see if there's any questions in here. Uh, so kind of veered away from that for a moment. Sorry. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, David. Um, yeah. I mean, I still looking for that scenario for these buyers to come in. Uh, we know um, they have not, but that's what we're looking for. Uh, sellers continue to drive it lower uh, and making lower lows, but they're just they're on the other side with just incredible icebergs, uh, one after another. And they're still they're still there. I mean, there's there's no escaping it here, you know. So we're we're getting there. We're getting near near the bottom here. Okay, maybe we just need a quick move into twenty, uh, and then that ought to do it. Yeah, here they come. Sellers still selling pressure coming in. <laughs> Another eleven hundred just transacted.
Anyway, guys, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Let's call it a day. We're going to do this again tomorrow, uh, but keep in mind these scenarios in here, uh, and and we're looking for uh, some some follow through uh, on that buy side. Okay, at a certain point, when there's just a lack of selling pressure in here. I mean, this could be it here. here look at the, this is what we're talking about: selling, retest. You know, no selling. You know, buying coming in, but this is where we need to see, like, see these kinds of dots here, these big red dots. We need to see that on the buy side over here, and they need to start coming in and making higher highs and pulling the market away from uh, the lows here. Anyway, uh, and uh, just waiting and watching uh, for that and for that scenario should be should be pretty nice uh, because this has been moving down into these just massive icebergs all the way along. Okay, and we're at some pretty critical levels even on the higher time frame. Higher time frame is kind of a zone, uh, as, I, as I was mentioning here. We're, we're at this kind of level here on the daily, and it's a whole zone all the way down. Uh, but uh, this is where the buyers came in uh, some, uh, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago or, or more in these areas here. So uh, anyway, that's what we're kind of looking for in the order flow here. And see that see that now now we're starting to see maybe a move back up but I, I we just don't see the buyers yet even even in this move here right just don't see them right we're looking for them we're just like i'm still seeing more selling in here right this we've got to see the opposite All right so keep an eye out for that uh and uh we'll we'll wrap it up everybody uh thanks for coming and we'll we'll join again uh here tomorrow uh we'll do the basics at 9:30 uh, you might want to show up for that. We always see some pretty good moves around 9.30 to 10. Uh, and then the uh, advanced webinar starts at 10 uh, to about 11 or so. All right? Yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. All right, we'll, uh, we'll catch up tomorrow then.